One of Pixar's most successful films is Inside Out, a story that explores the emotions inside the mind of a little girl who goes through a moving process. It is a film that although it seems childish, it touches on themes of nostalgia, depression, and personal growth. In the past few days, the trailer of the second movie was released. So in this video, we will be analyzing these new emotions and what we could see in this new release. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. First, let's recap what happened in the first installment. This movie focuses more on the emotions of the main character, emotions such as joy, anger, fear, and sadness. At the beginning, we can see that the emotion of joy is the dominant one in the protagonist's life, but everything changes in Riley's life after she moves to San Francisco. At that moment, the emotion of sadness begins to take control over Riley's life, but it is continuously stopped by joy, thus creating a conflict between the two, which negatively affects Riley's life. Although this conflict is actually an allegory, what we can observe in Riley is a grieving process that leads her to a state of depression, a very complex subject for a children's film. In the book of mourning and melancholy published by the psychologist Freud, as he explains, the loss of something in an individual originates an internal process of mourning, which leads a person to a state of melancholy and depression. Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross described the stages of grief in five phases, denial, anger, bargaining, emotional pain, and acceptance. We can see these five stages of grief being manifested in the film and something that is more complex, childhood depression. We were able to observe how in the film, the existence of such vital memories, which shape the personality, is raised. But these memories can be affected by emotions, turning memories of happiness into memories of sadness, something that can be observed in people with depression. Today, Thanks to neuroscience, we know that the chemistry in our brain changes during depression, affecting communication between key neurotransmitters, such as norepinephrine and serotonin. Antidepressant medications seek to correct this chemical imbalance in the brain of the depressed person to alleviate the symptoms, so we could say that the movie intensely showed us in an allegorical way what really happens in the brain of a depressed person. Depression is an illness that can affect a person's life, completely changing his or her behavior. From Riley's perspective, we could see how she was submerged in an absolute depression, where her memories of happiness were manifested with sadness. And the most important part of the film is that at the moment when joy and sadness left their posts, Riley falls into a state of loss of emotional expression, one of the most common states of depression. Many people have theorized that Joy is actually the villain of the film. This could be explained by the words of psychoanalyst Melanie Klein. She proposed that depression develops because of a person's inability to release the feeling at the initial loss. As soon as the person is unable to resolve a feeling of loss, other defense systems are activated, resulting in depression. This is exactly what we observed in the film. Joy constantly wanted to maintain control and would not allow Riley to express feelings of sadness, driving her into a state of depression and emotional loss. It wasn't until she allowed sadness to take control that Riley was able to express herself and move on. We can also find other allegories in the film, such as the character Bing Bong, who represents the imagination when we are young, which is lost over time. We could also observe that the clothes of this same character carries the representative colors of each emotion, but carries an additional color, the orange color, precisely the color that is presented in the trailer of the second film. Years after the release of the first installment, the trailer for Inside Out 2 finally saw the light a few days ago. The second film promises to take the franchise into new emotional territories, exploring Riley's ongoing challenges as she enters the complex stage of adolescence. Something that had been theorized for years. The trailer shows Riley's 13th birthday, 
indicating that she is leaving childhood behind to enter puberty. We see the return of the original five emotions, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust, along with the introduction of a new character named Anxiety. Anxiety seems to have a disheveled and nervous appearance, reflecting how anxiety can overwhelm us. For sure, this character will represent the growing worries and uncertainties, which Riley will feel as a teenager, about her identity, relationships, and future. Anxiety is likely to cause friction with the ever-optimistic joy, as adolescence comes with emotional ups and downs. Riley won't be able to be happy all the time now, regardless of Joy's efforts to maintain control. It is possible that anxiety will also conflict with fear, as both deal with feelings of apprehension, but anxiety may become more irrational. Likewise, anxiety could ally with sadness, since anxiety and depression are often linked. But there are also other emotions that were not yet shown in the previews, Emotions such as shame, envy, and apathy. Emotions that are usually present during adolescence. Originally, Pixar wanted to use 26 emotions for the film, but it was going to be too complicated, and they limited themselves to five main emotions. This means that it is possible that we may see a third installment of Inside Out in the future. This third installment could introduce new emotions or characters, representing more sophisticated aspects of the adult psyche. For example, we could see emotions like empathy, which helps Riley understand and connect with others, or resilience, which drives her to overcome obstacles. Other emotions, such as ambition or nostalgia, could also play significant roles, reflecting the various emotional states that adults experience. In addition, a third part of Inside Out could address how existing emotions, such as joy, sadness, anger, fear and disgust, have evolved since Riley's childhood and adolescence. The idea of a trilogy spanning emotional development from childhood to adulthood is more than just a series of films. It's a journey through the complexity of human emotions, and we're ready to see it. But tell me what are your thoughts about the new emotions in Inside Out? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.